Hello everybody! So today I'm going to be talking about all everything that you have to do if you're newly engaged. So this is the very, very first steps that you should take when you're first engaged. Um, so first of all, congratulations if you're newly engaged. That is so exciting. I got married three months ago and it was just the best day ever. Planning my wedding was so much fun and something that I didn't expect I would love so much. And after planning the wedding was over, I was just like, what am I going to do? Um, so I thought, why not make videos on, you know, share my experience, share what I learned in the past um, year and hopefully help some of you guys out, uh, you know, planning your wedding. So here's the first video I'm doing and it's going to be about the first five things that I think you should do. Um, to get your wedding started. Wedding planning started. I have some notes here. Don't mind me if I'm looking down just a little bit. So the very first thing that I think you should do is set your date. So it is super important to first set your date because, you know, you just need to know what your date is. So this is going to help you um, you know, with your calendar to know when things are due, when you should send invitations out, all of that stuff is stuff is going to be, you know, depending on your date. So choose a date, you know, if you want to keep your anniversary date, which is what we did. We got married on our 11th year anniversary. Um, so that's why it was special to us to keep that date because we've had it for so long. And, you know, or if you, maybe depending on the kind of wedding that you want to have. If you want to have a fall wedding or summer wedding. So start thinking about that and set your date. The second thing is to set your budget. So other than the date, you're going to be dependent on your budget the whole time. And this is something that you have to keep in mind throughout the entire process. So it's important that you set your budget right away. So, you know, talk to whoever you need to talk to. If your parents are helping you out or if you're paying for the wedding yourselves, you know, set your budget right away because it's something that you're going to have to be conscious of the um, entire time you're planning. Now the third thing that you have, um, that I suggest that you do is get a wedding planner. Um, whether it's one, you know, you can find a lot that are already pre-made. Um, I tried to look for one that I liked, but I really couldn't find one that had everything that I wanted. So I did make my own. Um, I have it right here. So this is what it looks like. It's just, a, you know, a regular binder I got at Target. I wanted one with like a cute design and stuff. But um, I made my own tabs, you know, made my own calendars. So um, I just made my own because I knew what I wanted and it was just easier for me to make my own. So I can make a video on how to put your own together. Just let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you want to see. It's really easy and you can customize it to what you like. But having this wedding planner is important just because there's, you know, it's just one place where everything for your wedding is kept. So once you start having contracts from your vendors, you have a, your calendar, you know, you can have pages in here to make notes, um, your guest list, anything like that you can keep in this binder and you'll take it everywhere with you. Trust me. The fourth thing is decide on your theme or your colors because once you start looking into, you know, the details, centerpieces, you know, ceremony decor, stuff like that, you're you're going to have to know or you need to know what kind of theme or the colors of your wedding are. So, if a specific color, for example, I have loved purple all my life since I was little, so I knew for a fact that I wanted to have purple in the wedding. And just think about, you know, if you have a favorite color, think about what colors pair with it well. So, I just went with silver and white. I wanted it to be, you know, just very elegant. I didn't over flood it with purple either. I just did, you know, pops of purple here and there. Um, or if you want to have a theme, like, you know, a Disney theme or something like that, decide on a theme because that'll help you look for stuff online for things that you want to do and stuff. Now, when it comes to that, I use Pinterest a lot, a lot. Because you can go on there, for example, I just would type in purple wedding and you get a bunch of ideas for you know everything from dresses to centerpieces to I don't know everything table settings stuff like that so start saving pictures that you love um, 
if you don't know about Pinterest, I would highly, highly suggest that you go to the website and look at it. It's, um, it's just cool, you know, it's fun to go on there and look at what you like, what you don't like. You can delete stuff if you change your mind. Um, but other websites that I use were Etsy, uh, which is cool because you can buy stuff that you like straight from the website once it comes down to that time. And I also, um, I don't know if I have this right, it's a website called, I think it's Lover dot ly I'll find out what it is and link it down below but it's kind of similar to Pinterest you know you can make you make your own account you can save your favorites um, categorize them by ceremony reception bridesmaids the bride so it's just it's helpful to go back and look at things the very last thing is just think about what kind of wedding you want to have so for example if you want a church wedding or if you want for example, in my case, it was important to me to have the same venue for the ceremony and the reception just because I thought it was easier, you know, for our guests to kind of just go from one place to the other without having to drive anywhere. It was easy for us, um, you know, the bride and groom, as far as pictures went, we didn't have to go anywhere. We kind of stayed on site and that'll also help you determine what kind of vendors you need to get. For example, in my case, I didn't have to worry about getting any transportation or stuff like that because everything was in the same place. Um, you know, even like a getaway car or things like that, I didn't need to look into that because of the type of venue that I chose or the type of um, wedding that we wanted to have. But if you, you know, if you're religious or you want to have a church wedding, it's something to think about. Um, kind of get the, the, the big picture and then you can fill in all the details as you go on. So those are the very first steps that I think that you should take to start planning your wedding. Um, but you know, just try to have fun. I know it's overwhelming and there's so many things that you have to do, but the year goes by so fast. I know it seems like it's far away, but before you know it, it's like two weeks from your wedding and you're doing everything, you know, so I would just say take it all in, try not to stress, you know, use the help that you have, you know, use your bridesmaids, that's what they're there for, have them help you in everything possible, um, and also, you know, get your groom involved, it is their day too, and you know, they have great ideas too, if, if you are kind of stuck on something, ask your groom. Um, my husband had so many good ideas and it was easier for me sometimes to just ask him. So keep them in mind, you know, the whole process. I think that's really important. You make sure that they're happy too. It's not just your day. But, um, you know, subscribe down below and I'll have many more videos coming for wedding planning. I have a lot of ideas and if there's anything specific you guys want to see, please leave comments. Um, suggestions you know it this is actually the very very first video that I film so uh, leave your comments down below on things you want to see like I said I do have a lot of ideas um, and I plan on doing at least one video a week for now and seeing how that goes but hopefully you guys liked it and happy wedding planning guys <laughs>